Imagine buying an iPhone in 2026 and realizing the biggest upgrade isn't the camera, the display, or the design. It's something you can't even see, but you're definitely going to feel when you check the price. Because right now, it looks like Apple is gearing up for one of the most expensive leaps in iPhone history, and it all comes down to the next generation of chips. So here's what's happening. Apple is reportedly planning to move to two nanometer processors for its 2026 lineup, which should include the iPhone 18 Pro, iPhone 18 Pro Max, the next iPhone Air, and even the follow-up to the iPhone Fold. On paper, this sounds incredible. Smaller process, more power, better efficiency, cooler temperatures, and the usual Apple flex of, we're ahead of the industry. But making chips this advanced isn't just difficult, it's insanely expensive. Apple's longtime manufacturing partner, TSMC, is apparently preparing to bump prices quite significantly for these next-gen 2 nanometer wafers. We're talking about massive, ultra-complex wafers with over 100 delicate layers. Each of these reportedly costs somewhere around $30,000. For comparison, the current 3 nanometer wafers Apple uses are about $20,000. That's already a lot, but that jump to 2 nanometers is like moving from expensive to ridiculous. Now, when you break that down to the price per chip, that's where it starts to look painful. Reports suggest the upcoming A20 or A20 Pro chip could cost Apple around $280 per unit. To put that into perspective, the A19 Pro is estimated to sit around $150. And if you go back even further, older chips were believed to cost closer to 50 bucks. So we've gone from 50 to 150 to nearly 300. That's not an upgrade curve. That's a rocket launch. And this leaves Apple in a very uncomfortable position. They can either swallow the cost, which means lower profit margins, and Apple really isn't the kind of company that likes earning less money. Or they do what most companies do when costs go up, and they let the customers handle it. Which, realistically, means the 2026 iPhones could arrive with noticeably higher price tags. Meanwhile, Samsung is quietly walking into the scene with a bit of a smirk. Reports suggest Samsung's two nanometer wafers are significantly cheaper, closer to what TSMC currently charges for 3 nanometer. That gives Samsung's partners a pricing advantage. The catch? TSMC is still believed to have better yields, meaning more usable chips per wafer, which is why Apple is still sticking with them. But it does make things very interesting because Samsung is clearly trying to undercut and attract more big players. So if everything we're hearing is accurate, Apple is staring at a difficult decision for 2026. Either protect their profit margins and make iPhones more expensive, or keep prices similar and quietly lose a chunk of revenue per device. And knowing Apple's history, I think we all know which way this might lean. But what do you think? Would you pay more for an iPhone if it meant getting cutting-edge 2 nanometer performance, or is there a point where enough is enough? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm really curious to see where people stand on this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.